November 1992. A single goal defeat at third place Shrewsbury Town was not seen as a disaster. Town had matched their high-flying opponents for much of the game, and with a bit of luck and some steadier finishing would certainly have come out of the game with at least a point. And anyway, five of the next six league games were at the Shea, redressing the imbalance of home games played against away games. Surely Town would now climb the table and also get some much-needed cash into the club's almost empty coffers. Bonfire night weekend saw Town's expected revival go up in proverbial flames as lowly Torquay United left the Shea 2-0 winners, one of their goals coming from Justin Fashionu. The crowd of 1,651 was better than the previous home game but still not up to the level needed to sustain a full-time football club. Though the club's finances had been helped on the morning of the game by the supporters club sponsored walk which raised £1,260 in pledges. Even Torquay fans did their bit for the Shea men, donating a shopping bag full of cans of feline nourishment for Benny, the Shea Mogge, a transparent icon of the club's dire financial status. Saturday the 14th saw Town take a break from the rigours of the Football League, as they travelled to Merseyside for the first round of the FA Cup and a tie with 6th placed HFS Lone Premier side Marine. The headline of total humiliation in Monday's evening courier summed up perfectly one of the blackest days in town's history as they were swept aside to the tune of four goals to one, their solitary goal coming just two minutes from time at the end of an awful day at the Rescott Park. The following Wednesday brought some better news. The board had met the previous evening and had come to a decision to keep the club going until at least the new year. Manager John McGrath said that the club's recent run of poor form had been partially caused by the uncertainty brought about as a result of the financial crisis and that he felt now that uncertainty had been removed, for the time being the team would produce the goods and the points on the field. Unfortunately this wasn't the case, a 1-1 draw away at Wrexham was followed by another 1-1 draw at home to Chesterfield, leaving the Shearmen without a win in six matches, in 17th position and only five points clear of bottom club Northampton.